Hi everybody, thanks for watching. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to put together a basic HTML, CSS, and JavaScript project on your computer. So you can see how to start making and building projects outside of sites like CodePen and JS Fiddle. So the first thing I've done here is I've made a file in GitHub and I've cloned it onto my local machine. So if you wanna check out my video about how to do that in GitHub, then go and learn how to do that and come back here. Now, once the project is cloned onto my local machine, I wanna open up uh, Sublime Text and I've made three files in my project. Index.html, which is gonna hold the HTML text, site.css and site.js. And what I've done here in the HTML is I've written out a very basic uh, bootstrap for HTML, which basically has the doctype.html on the top, an all-encompassing HTML tag, then a head tag and a body tag. So to get going and building this basic project, I wanna go ahead and link my CSS to the HTML. Oh. And I want to add the JavaScript in as well. So I'll do that by adding a script tag and typing site.js. So I've now added the script tag and the link tag to my HTML file. And I also have over here in Chrome, a localhost server running on port 3000, which is simulating my site. At the moment, you can't actually see anything on there, but just to check that that's working, I'm just gonna make an H1 tag here and just write hello world, hit save, reload this, and there we go. I see that in there. So it means my project here is linked up to my localhost server. If you want to know how to set one of those up, I've left the code in the comments down below and just in a terminal window or a uh, command line window on Windows, you just need to type in this very simple command and it builds a localhost server locally on your machine. So you don't have to rely on your machine just assuming what JavaScript and CSS files are. It basically tricks your system into believing that there is a real server serving you those files so it will run the javascript uh, that you're trying to program in so that's all set up for now so the first thing i'm going to want to do here is in the html so i've got this hello world tag so i can see that my html is working i'm just going to want to go ahead and add a button tag in here i'm going to call it click me with a space obviously and in the button i'm going to add two things to it. Number one, I'm gonna add a class. I'm gonna call it my button. And I'm gonna add an on-click event. So this basically means when you click the button, it's gonna do something. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna give it a function, which is gonna call, called say hello. And I'm gonna call that function. So if I hit save and I reload, I can now see I've got my click me button here. Uh, so it's in HTML, but if I click it, it doesn't do anything still. So let's go and now check that my CSS and my JavaScript files are linked properly. So if I go into my CSS and I type in my button using the class selector, which is the dot here, and I open up my curly braces, um, let's give the color of the button text, I guess, let's call it red, hit save, and look at that the color of the text in the button has now changed to red. So I can now definitely see that my CSS is working with my HTML document. And I called my function say hello. So go into JavaScript and I'm now gonna write a function called say hello. And I'm gonna very simply in the function write an alert that says hello. I save that. And now I'm gonna reload my HTML website again, and I'm gonna click the button, and I have an alert that says hello. So from those two things, I can now see that my JavaScript file is linked with my HTML, and it's working. And I can see that my CSS file is linked with my HTML, and that's also working. So this is a very basic way to set up a three file, uh, sorry, a three document project of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript host it on your local machine. And this way you can really start playing with and experimenting and really taking advantage of the power of your computer 
over sites like CodePen or JS Fiddle, they're a little bit limited in their abilities and what they can actually do. So thanks a lot for watching. If you found this video helpful, then please like it and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and to see my journey how I'm coming along as a junior web developer.